Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts At Home and I hope everybody is doing great and is in good health. If you're looking for fun, engaging and interactive activities to do with your kids in less than 10 minutes with the stuff available at home and make sure they're up to date and you're helping them think out of the box, this is the right space for you. All you have to do is just press the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell icon. All right, guys, so I just wanted to share this thing with you that Vivan school started in September and we are in October end now. So approximately two months of school and the school is doing great and uh, they are doing a lot of studies and we are doing a lot of projects back home and our calendar for year two is ready and it took me a lot of time to go back and forth. So I will be sharing the calendar for Vivan schedule for for second year very soon. But in today's video, I'm going to share with you that I have made a series of books for Vivan, which are seven series of books, which is for each subject. And that's primarily a revision test book where I've picked up topics, the ones that he has reviewed. OK, but a step up. So like uh, if he has done place value, I would be adding a, a couple of things in place value for him to uh, revise and test. So in today's book, which is the math test book, I am covering 12 different topics and I'm going to show you shortly the 12 topics. But all the seven books that I will be featuring in the next two weeks would be um, English, social studies, science, uh, Hindi, Spanish and brain teaser. And including math, that's the seventh book. So it will be a complete series for the next two weeks that I would be doing. So you keep an eye and make sure that you press the bell icon so that every time I'm going to upload, you will be you will be notified and you'll be able to see the content that I've just posted. Uh, if you want to know more about and if you want me to cover a particular topic in any of the subjects, make sure that you leave a comment so that I can definitely add. I'm still working on the content. Uh, for him because I'm still re uh, reviewing all the books and the topics that he's gonna do and uh, which he has already done I have uh, done it but the things that we're doing at home I'm still like refine tuning so if you have any uh, requests make sure that you leave uh, leave it in the comment box below I will be happy to add on so um, let's move forward and let's see the book that uh, he would be doing as a maths test and I will try and record so that you guys know exactly how much time he took and what's the process when he is doing the test. So let me know if you want to see how it is behind the scenes and how Vivan does the notebook when I actually test him. And uh, yeah, okay, so make sure you like, comment and subscribe. So let's get going. Let's see the book first. All right, guys. So this is the math book that I'm talking about and I'm going to be reviewing it with you guys just now. Okay, so the first one is uh, place value and you have four tens and five ones and Vivan has eight questions to answer. Okay, now each activity will be done with a timer. So he has less than a minute to solve. Primarily each question just gets three seconds in, in our house for him to solve. And if not, he has to do it all over again. So I will be putting the book in a Ziploc for him to do. And then on top of that, he needs to just answer Okay, so 535, so he needs to write it into numbers. There are multiple things that are happening here, which is like 100 less than 940, okay? And then 60 less than 85. So he needs to write the answer in words, okay? And yeah, so the, the first one is uh, place value. Um, and the second one is write the number in words. So here he needs to do an expanded form in just the words. Number three activities, use these numbers, write the numbers in order of least to greatest. So that, that's greatest to least. Write the numbers that are less than 600. So he needs to figure it out from here. So you have three questions which revolve around these numbers. The next activity is complete the pattern. So you have different numbers going on here. And uh, they are all um, in a sequential pattern. He needs to figure it out and fill it right here. Uh, I have given him uh, some clues here so that he figures out what the pattern is exactly and so that he fills it out. Now we have greater than and less than and he needs to write put equal to in the circle which is provided right here. So he needs to add and then minus and see if whatever the answer is, if it's equal to, greater than or less than, the sign needs to come just right here. The same thing here and you have seven questions to do uh, for this activity. So a lot of questions, it's just like exactly the test paper that I was saying. So we are just, I'm just making sure that he knows. Now complete the equation, okay? And then you have these two lines and then you have the figure right here that he needs to see. So you have 
some numbers given, some things not given. He needs to figure it out exactly whether it's a plus, it's minus and what the answer is. So he needs to complete the equation which is right here. Okay, then he has addition and subtraction. He needs to add and subtract right here. Then we have a lot of word problems here. Uh, one of the word problems just right here, I, he needs to figure it out, it's addition or subtraction and then he needs to uh, solve it. And then this one is a complicated one because there are two things that he needs to figure it out. Then we have measurement, use scale and estimate. Like So this is, uh, he needs to use a scale also and he needs to estimate as well. Like um, he needs to use a scale to see how many centimeter is this 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 and then and then he needs to estimate as well so the scale is dash centimeter long so he needs to first estimate before using the actual scale and then while looking at the scale he's going to write it okay the same thing for the scale and pencil right here and then we have weighing which is in grams and kg a cell phone weighs about 110 kg or gram okay so we are working on this we have definitely done a lot of activities around it and that's why i am writing it here and he can use his weighing scale if he wants to, uh, but I don't think so we'll be able to have, but just in case if he wants to use a prop, he can. And from A to J, I have many options. And I've written Vivan weighs about 25, an elephant weighs about 700, a teddy weighs about 60, a laptop weighs about two, and Apple weighs about 150. So yes. Okay, so again, another word problem he needs to draw and explain. There are 12 balls in a bag, how many? balls are in six bags okay so he needs to write explain and whether it's addition minus or multiplication he needs to figure that out then uh, there are 22 ducks in a pond how many ducks are in eight ponds there are 18 fishes in an aquarium how many fishes are there so there are four of them and then you have calculate under 60 seconds uh, again it's a multiplication activity and it's all jumbled up and then he needs to multiply and write the answer we have money here so you can definitely uh, make sure that when you are making it for your kids you improvise and uh, look at the topics that they are doing you can increase the numbers you can change the values and make it in, in such a manner that they're covering so many different topics under one book and it's just one book that you have to like just make it and they can do it over and over again and make sure you add the element of um, of time like it really helps, like trust me, it really, really helps in bucking up the speed of writing and doing a paper. A pencil cost $1 and an eraser cost $2. Vivan bought 10 pencils and 5 eraser. How much did you pay altogether? How much did you pay for pencils? How much did you pay for erasers and total? So you have uh, a money um, equation and another one right here. Now he needs to make money two ways. So he, he would be uh, using the coins and he would be writing how many coins has he used so he if he takes like one dollar and one dollar that makes two cents or oh sorry two dollars and if he takes one dollar and like four quarters he's gonna make that so if you wherever you whichever country you stay you can change the dollar sign into yours and then you can try and make the money so he's making five dollar twenty one cents ten dollars fifteen dollars twenty five cents and then few more so i think guys this is a pretty cool one definitely it's just to begin with because our year has just started so i don't want to overdo it with him so just a simple book for him to just catch up and i think it's great so guys let me know if you have any questions uh, about the book and if you have any suggestions more than welcome to share with me thanks for watching guys and i hope you subscribe like and comment see you guys see you next time